Ms. Moffitt, you always believed the defendant was your dad until two years ago when you received a message from a man claiming to be your biological father. You are tired of the confusion and are petitioning the court for a paternity test to prove the defendant is your dad. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Johnson, you say the plaintiff's mother played games and unfortunately have substantial reason to doubt paternity. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Moffitt, you received a message from another man? Yes, ma'am. Tell that story. Um, two years ago, he, uh, uh, inboxed me on Facebook, was saying that, um, I'm his child, and, um, when I'm looking like, wow, this confusing, like, I, I don't know. And then he had sent me a picture of me when I was, like, maybe, like, two or three. And he was saying that I'm his child, and I have two other siblings. I can see you're still shocked. Yeah. And so you submitted that message to the court. The message reads, Hi, this is Lawrence Saunders. Call me because you is my daughter and I've been looking for you. You respond, what? (laughs) Who are you? Right. You aren't my dad. And he responds, I am your dad and I can prove it. Call, Hmm. please. (laughs) Really? Mm -hmm. Did you call? Yes. What did he say? He said that it hurt for you to say that, that come out your mouth, and I'm just like, you told me. And I want to find out, are you are my father? But he, after that, then he just... (sighs) I know this hurts to think about and talk about. It's just... I just want to know who my father, that's all. I I really do. And you were always told Mr. Johnson was your father. Yes. And this phone call out the blue, this this message... Yeah, just like, where'd it come from? Like, all of a sudden, out of two, three years. Mr. Johnson, tell me why you have doubts. Me and two more other guys was, you know, at the time was was dealing with Miss Moffitt, and um, I just uh, had doubts that I was her biological father at the time when she was little. I didn't know. I really didn't. I didn't know if I was the father or not. You know, so here we are. Miss Moffitt, what was the nature of your relationship with Mr. Johnson? Well, Mr. Johnson and I met when I was young. We fell in love. And we just was seeing each other, going places. He showed me things that I never saw before and that made me fall for him, even though I knew he was married at the time. Oh! Yeah, he was married. So it was a lot of sneaking around, <laughs> hiding. And we used to, uh, our favorite spot to meet up was like at Burger King. And while he'll go home and get ready, get, uh, change clothes and come back and we just go out and kick it. How long did this relationship go on? The relationship went on strong for like about two years. And then I left and went to Mississippi. Um, Mr. Johnson. Yes, ma'am. Did your family ever find out about this affair with Miss Moffitt? (laughs) Yes, they did. (laughs) (laughs) What happened? Oh, well, I was sitting at the restaurant with with Miss Moffitt and, um... A young dude went back to my house and told that I was sitting in a car at at a restaurant with her. After then, we had words from then on, you know. So, at that point, you were exposed. Yes, ma'am. Did you keep seeing Ms. Moffitt? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, that lesson wasn't learned. (laughs) (laughs) Ms. Moffitt? Yes, young. Tell the court what happened when you found out you were pregnant. I wasn't sure who was the father because I had went out to Maywood to see Mr. Johnson. And at that time, Mr. Johnson was at work, so I stayed around until he get off work so we could see each other. But in the meantime, I had went to one of my friend houses named Mr. Saunders, which I was dating before Mr. Johnson. Basically, I ended up having sex with him that day and and Mr. Johnson at the same time. Mm. So that's why I'm not sure. So wait a minute. You had sex with Mr. Saunders and Mr. Johnson on the same day? Yep. Not at the same time? Um, Yes, Your Honor, right, the same day. And so when you found out you were pregnant, who did you tell? Well, I told them both, exactly, because I wasn't sure who was the father. Once the baby was born, and as soon as Mr. Saunders seen her eyes, he like, oh, that's my baby. And I'm like saying to myself, 
I don't think so. Uh, but, you know, I led him to believe that it was. But you believe Mr. Johnson was her biological father. Yes, because Mr. Johnson and I had a connection and pretty much Rissa was a, a love child. And I feel that Mr. Johnson was more of the father than Mr. Saunders was. And then as Rissa got older, she starts to get more features of Mr. Johnson. And then everybody, like, in my family, like, oh, this is Mr. Johnson's child. I didn't know she was pregnant. You didn't? No, uh-uh. One seen each other that, that tough at that time, and uh, all of a sudden, she came to me with a picture and showed me the picture of Rissa. And that's how I found out I might be the biological father. So you gave him a picture? Yes, mm -hmm. you are. You brought it to him? You sent it to him? How did he get this picture? I, I brought it to him. Yeah. I showed him. You brought it to him? And what did you say when you brought the picture? I told him, I said, here's Rissa and here's your child, you know, that you could be a possible father. And, and also, I did let him know about Mr. Saunders at the same time. Oh, you did? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. So, you brought him this picture and said you could be the father. Yes. And I... there's also another potential father, Mr. Saunders. Is that what you said? Yes, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. Do you remember her being honest about that? Mm-hmm. Yes, and she so, was. then, mm -hmm. did you have doubt at that point? Mm-hmm. Big time. Okay, so yeah. once you started feeling like your family and everybody was saying it was Mr. Johnson's child, you loved Mr. Johnson, you said, you know what, this, this... I believe this is Mr. Johnson's child. You allowed them to form this father-daughter bond where you would let her visit him. Yes, Spend Your time Honor. with him. Yes, Your Honor. And, Ms. Moffat, Mr. Johnson was the only man you knew to be your father, right? Yes. You had no idea and had never been told about Mr. Saunders. No. So, during Narissa's childhood, were you told you were the only possible father? No. Uh-uh. Mr. Saunders... I okay, Mr. Mr. Saunders. All right, um, you were told Mr. Saunders was her... her biological father? Yeah. So, I, wait a I minute now. That. This is confusing. Miss mm -hmm. Moffitt, Mr. Saunders insisted, you said, mm -hmm. you testified to that, that he was Narissa's biological father. Yes, Your Honor. So, that's what Mr. Johnson understood? That Mr. Mm -hmm. Saunders was her biological mm -hmm. father? Mr. Johnson didn't know that I was leading Mr. Saunders on, letting him know Mr. Saunders, he was the dad as well. He didn't know that I told Mr. Saunders that he was a dad also. Okay, so why are you telling two men they're the biological father? Because uh, Mr. Saunders knew I had sex with him, you know, we had sex, and Mr. Johnson, and then by... It's, it, it, at the same time that Rissa was conceived... Okay. ...that he kind of figured that Rissa was his and he going by the color for uh, her eyes because... Rissa had the same eye color that his mom does. But Narissa testified that it was just two years ago that she was told that there was another possibility. So you knew this all this time? Yes, Your Honor. But you didn't tell your daughter? No, Your Honor. What I don't understand is you're telling two men they could be the father, but you're not telling your daughter that two men could possibly be the father. I told her, you know, that you know, that it could be a possibility, but I, you know... When did she tell you this, Miss Moffat? Two years ago. But... I just want to get this over with. I know, it's hard, honey. I, I know. don't... I don't know. And the truth is, you weren't informed. Miss Moffat? Yes, John. Why did you decide to just come clean now? Because, uh, Narissa need to know who her biological father is and need closure so she won't be torn between two fathers so she can have clarity and... and just... just go on. And they could build a bond because she has other siblings out there that she needs to meet. And, you know, because... They them. never did believe that Rissa was his anyways, but... Your family never believed that Narissa was your biological child? Right, mm-hmm. They don't believe it. Uh, I stayed out of it until Rissa got real sick. Went to the hospital and spent time with her. I said to myself, man, this child is laying up here fighting for her life, you know, and she don't know who, really who her father was. And she said she wanted her father there at the hospital. And I spent, I spent three nights there with her. I said, I'm gonna be there for her from now on out, bottom line. And so how did you find out that Narissa was sick and in the hospital? Her stepdad. And uh, he told me, he said, Ron, you need to get to Indiana as soon as possible. 
We don't know if risk is going to be much around here much more long. So I shot on over oh, there. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I shot on over there. <laughs> And uh, I seen all these tubes and stuff, and I just couldn't believe it. And so, at that moment, you decided to go to the hospital because you believe you were her father. <laughs> right, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. Did Mr. Saunders also come to the hospital, Ms. Moffitt? No, he didn't. <laughs> and then when... Did you let him know? Did you tell him? Well, I didn't have any information for Mr. Saunders to, to let him know what's going on, but... When Rissa came out of her coma, she uh, gave me information and get contact with him because she wanted him to come and see her. But he made every excuse, the reason why he couldn't come. But if he claimed to be to her daughter, it wouldn't matter. With, with no cost or whatever, he'd be out there trying to see, see her. If, that, if he thought that was her last days on this earth, he at least tried to come out there and see how she was doing. Or and this is the man that had been so persistent right. that he was her biological father. Yes, Your Honor. And that he had even been persistent enough to send her these messages. Mm -hmm. Yes, Your Honor. And then when she's in a coma, he doesn't come? No, Your Honor. Mm. Only one came is uh, Mr. Johnson. Mm -hmm. Sure did. Narissa, I'm so happy you are okay. Thank I you. really mm -hmm. am. Thank you. Yeah. I, I am so, so grateful you're all right. Can you tell the court what you feel? <laughs> I'm just hurt. And you feel hurt because of this the whole situation. Mm -hmm. The whole situation. And it really is a lot to process because you're receiving new information in this very moment. <laughs> I know that. Do you feel disappointed in your mom? No. What are you feeling? Just hurt. It's stressful to wait this long. And I'm 28. I should have figured this out when I was little. Ms. Moffat, as you look at your daughter, how much of a toll this has taken on her emotionally? Yes. The secret. Yes, Sean, I know it hurts. And I didn't mean for it to hurt her. You know, I just didn't feel that, you know, they pretty much wasn't even worthy because they never was there. You feel like neither man truly showed the effort. Yes, Shonda. So you just decided to let the secret lie. Yes, Shonda. But did Mr. Saunders also know that Mr. Johnson was a possibility in terms of being Miss Moffitt's biological father? Yes, Shonda. Do you think both men just didn't show up because they were in doubt and they had no idea if they really were her biological father. But, Your, Your Honor, I don't think that would have mattered because if they saying they, they the father, they would be there. Because... You're saying because Ms. Mr. Saunders was professing that he was her biological father. He should be father. the first one there. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I need to ask respectfully, are they the only two possibilities? Yes, Your Honor. Yes. There are no other men out there that could say, I'm her biological father as well. No, Your Honor. The only two. I believe I've heard enough testimony. I'm ready for the results. Jerome? These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Moffitt versus Johnson, when it comes to 28-year-old Norissa Moffitt, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Johnson, you are her father. Yes! Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> Well, happy for you. You know, you gotta let me go. He doesn't have to let you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy for you both. Thank you. You know, she need me, but now it's time to do a lot more for her. Amen to that. Mm -hmm. That's the beauty of the truth. Mm -hmm. It gives us second chances. It mm -hmm. gives us another opportunity to do better.
I love this picture. Thank you. <laughs> I am a daddy's girl. I know that pose well. <laughs> it is nothing better in the world. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Thank you. I'm going to keep my eyelashes on. Right. <laughs> I think mine came off. Because <laughs> <laughs> you all ain't going to get me today. <laughs> but I'm so happy for Thank you. Thank you. You me feel too. good? I feel a lot better. Thank you. <laughs> Ms. Hendricks, you were once in a committed relationship with the defendant, Mr. Pacheco. Now you say the doubts about your six-month-old son Isaiah's paternity has destroyed your relationship and torn the rest of your family apart. Yes, Your Honor. And Mr. Pacheco, you say your doubts about paternity began when you overheard a conversation with Ms. Hendricks' family member and another man who claimed to be the baby's father. Yes, Your Honor. And furthermore, you recently moved out of the home you once shared and will not return unless DNA results prove little Isaiah is indeed your son. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Hendricks, please share with the court how this all unraveled for you and Mr. Pacheco. Um, well, he's listening to rumors that an ex-boyfriend is possibly the father of our son. Um, the rumors are coming from my brother, which is with him. Um, we met about two years ago. Um, we met online. About three months after me, um, talking online, we met in person. We moved in together within like four months of meeting each other. It was like love at first sight. Like, I, I think we both fell in love over the telephone before we even met. So you all were in a real relationship? Yes. You had love for one another? Was it a committed relationship? Yeah, we were we was together every day. Like, we, we was never apart. We was inseparable every day. And so, at some point, you realize you're pregnant? Yes, and we was both happy. It was, like, very exciting, like, the whole pregnancy. Up until I was about seven months pregnant, when my brother and him had a conversation, and my brother told him that he possibly may not be the father because he's seen the ex around. But uh, be before the ex situation, I heard her over talking on the phone with a family member. The family member was kept telling her, uh, your ex wants me to tell you to tell the baby that, oh, <clears> that, I, was, love, that I, I love him, that I want to be there for him. I before I go to jail, pregnant. please keep in contact with me and all that type of things. And ways, I feel heartbroken. And then I was like, yeah, that's what started giving me more doubts. I think getting more doubts about the situation, you know, Mr. Hendricks here that is on the side of me, you know, he started to, one day we no, went out. No, that's not true. And, <laughs> you know, he started telling me things about or that he's seen the ex-boyfriend, uh, you know, at the house or at the time that me and her was talking. And that, for me, it broke my heart, you know, because I do love her. You know, I do want to be with her and I do want to, hopefully the, the test do come back saying that that is my son. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, when no, I got to see him true. be born, you know, when I got to that's see him be like, born, that's the first time, you know, it's my first son. I don't got no kids. 26 years old. And this is, this, this is really breaking us apart. You know, so it's rumor here, rumor there. No, Yana, there was a rumor when I was seven months pregnant. That's when it came from my own brother that he thought that he was possibly not the father. And then we got past that. Like, he left me when I was seven months pregnant. The whole pregnancy, the rest of my pregnancy, I was by myself on. Um, which was very depressing. Um, okay, so then why? Then why? When I, I let him be in the delivery room, he wanted to be in the delivery room. He came to the hospital with me. I didn't see him since I was seven months into the, when I went into labor. He was in a room with me. He seen a baby be born, and he cut the umbilical cord and yeah, everything. Yeah, but then after that, her, a family member of her says, Hold "Oh, on. that's the mailman's baby." No. You know that for While me. While you were at the son? hospital? No, that's when we had a, a little a family gathering at Mrs. That's Hendrick's because my house. son has blue eyes and light and hair that her family member came and said... And light skin. Said, oh, that's the mailman's baby. My reaction, when they said that, I was mad. I walked out. I didn't know what to do. And then an ex out there, whatever time it was, for him to say, oh, that's my son. I love him. I can't wait to see him. When I get out of jail, I want to just get, keep in contact with you. That's what really hurt me the most. Why you, why you want to be with somebody that's in jail all the time? What future do you And he's talking about he an got? ex that I haven't seen since I got with him. The summer me and him got together is when I cut it off with the ex. I haven't seen him since then. Um, I was talking to a, a close family member on the phone, on speakerphone, because I was 
doing the dishes, I was busy. So the person was like, oh, well, I seen such and such, and he thinks that he's Isaiah's dad. And I'm like, what? Like, I was shocked. And then he overhears it, and he hears me responding back, and I'm like, I don't know why he would even think that. Like, what, what you know, I didn't even, this just came out of nowhere. Like, so you I was think your shock. ex just made this up? Um, yeah, because I guess he said that when he went to jail, I was the last girl he that he was dating. And then when he got out of jail, he's like, oh, how is Angela doing? And then to my mother, and my mother's like, oh, she had a baby, blah, blah, blah. And then he's like, oh, then he went around telling everyone that but he thinks me, that the baby is his. I don't understand where he would, but, where but, that would come from in any way, because I haven't even seen this guy. Your Honor, but for me too, saying about her mother, her mother was the one that <clears throat> gave the dude the number, her ex, the number to get in contact back and forth, all about the baby situation. For me, oh. for me, it really bothered me and it hurted me, you know what I'm saying? Because at one point, I felt like her mother was like a mother to me. And how she gonna come and, you know, stab me in the back. And she give, and she give, did not mean no and give a, You don't understand how I really feel, though. Okay, I do understand how you feel, because, but maybe you my don't. mom didn't know. You don't. Like, this being my first baby, you don't even know how I feel, though. Yeah, I do know. You don't. Because it breaks my heart, because when, when I was pregnant and when our son was born, he didn't even sign a birth certificate. The day, he was there for when I, you know, did labor. Also, um, too, Your Honor, can I speak? Also, too, when she was seven months pregnant, me and her got into a little, like, disagreement at the hospital, right? She gonna go ahead and say, like, we got into a verbal discussion. So I got kicked out of the hospital that day. When I got kicked out of the hospital... You got kicked out of the she, hospital she, 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 she because you were being rude to me. I wasn't doing I nothing to you. Like, like, when she was seven months you, pregnant, she came out and say, oh, you might not be the, be the, be the dad of baby Isaiah. And for her to say so that... So that actually her, came out of your mouth? Her mouth. Ms. I, Hendricks? Yes. I you did. said that. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. You know, we hear women say in this courtroom all the time, when you get angry and you tell a man that this isn't their child, you can't unring that bell. Yeah. You rang it. Now what's yeah. in his mind? Yeah, I understand. I Along with all the other things everybody else is saying. And another thing, too, you Well, the like, thing about that, it just came about a couple months ago. The, with... the baby, you know, got relieved from the hospital, whatever. I tried, when I got kicked out, I tried to sign the birth certificate. If you see, his name is Isaiah Hendricks, not I Isaiah Pacheco. I cannot make him and Pacheco me, if he wasn't there. For me, but yeah, but every time I called you and I told you, to, for us to How make an appointment. Okay, you never wanted to do it. You always had excuses it's for like everything. A, it's like a process. You had it's not something for I everything. could just call and be like, a oh, process, I want to change his name. Look, look, look how so, do Mr. Pacheco, months. let me okay, understand this. Let, that, me understand this. let me understand this. You say you your intention the day you were in the hospital was to sign that birth certificate. Yes. What happened that prevented you? You got thrown out? Yeah, I got kicked out. Because you all had a disagreement. Yeah, uh, like a little to catch it was a petty disagreement, though. It was end up leaving and just kept going. She kicked me out. Like, you know, I got forced got out the hospital. Out. They, yeah, whatever. I didn't kick you out. The nurse kicked you out. Mr. Pacheco, you have brought a witness today. We'd like to hear from him. Please stand. State your name for the court, sir. Matthew Hendricks. Mr. Hendricks, okay. You <clears throat> are Ms. Hendricks. His brother. Brother. And, and yet you're Mr. Pacheco's witness. And also Mrs. Ferrone's fiance. Wow. So this truly is a family divided. Yes. Yes. It's like tearing us all apart. Do you believe Mr. Pacheco has reason to have doubt that he's the father of Miss Hendricks' baby? Yes, Your Honor, I do. Really? Why is that? Well, when we was all living together at the beginning of their relationship, I was living with my sister. And I had noticed coming back and forth from work that there was this other man kind of hanging out. But one morning when I was leaving for work, I had noticed that this man's belongings was on the living room floor. I don't know exactly what went on, but that had, that had caused some suspicion. But that was different times, like totally different times. He, it, he came after that, the, the, the ex, he came after. You had them it both, the they was, it, no. it, was the, it was together. No, no it That's was so not, wrong. it was That's totally so different wrong. time. So no. wrong. And even if it wasn't, you're my brother. Like, even if it's, I so, not saying anything, but why would you say, you say he was there in the morning, you mean <clears throat> you believe he spent the night? Yeah. Miss Hendricks, you gotta understand, your own brother yeah. is telling Mr. Pacheco that 
there was another man intermingled <laughs> during the time you were with him and that he has reason to doubt. Yeah, and that breaks my heart because this is my brother. You don't think it breaks my heart finding out that's my baby or not? Explain, Mr. Pacheco, <clears throat> explain it because I don't know if she feels your pain and I certainly see it. She don't because I look at him every day and there's a doubt in my head, like, if he's not my son. You know, the bottom of God went seven months. I've been there. You know, I did everything for that kid. Bought him clothes, bought him diapers. Yeah, there's times now that I'm not there like I used to be. But why is that? All the rumors. You know what I'm saying? She don't see that. It breaks my heart because I feel that he doesn't even treat him or look at him. Like, he looks at him so different now. And he deserves a lot better than that. Like, I was raised, I didn't have my biological father around. I and didn't I have do mine not, and, and he didn't either. And I do not want my son to hey, ever look, go through that. Your Honor, look, at the point, what my son is going through right now, I go through that with my dad. Because my dad is, you know, denying me and my older sister. I never, I, I was never raised with a mom or a dad. The one that raised me all my life was my grandmother. She gave me everything. You know what I'm saying? And I want the same thing for him. I want him to have me and her in his life. You know what I'm saying? Because I do love him. If I didn't love him, I wouldn't even be here right now. I would have been like other dads and just walked out and said, you know why I don't even care. And then another thing too, like, look at his eyes. He got blue eyes. You know what I'm saying, look at my eyes. I got brown I got eyes. eyes. I got dark hair. Uh, it comes from the grandma. I got green eyes. It comes from the grandma. My brother don't. He has green eyes. I mean, I don't know. So when you look from... at this beautiful skin, little boy, white. you just don't see yourself, and it makes you nervous. It yeah. makes you concerned. It, it makes you fearful. It do. His own family think that th that's not his son due to his light hair color and his his eyes being blue. Just for that, just to let you know. His family just, is just, so just many people. let you know, even your other baby daddy came and told you, oh, that's, that doesn't even look like him. That could be the other baby daddy. I can't control what people say, but I know who's his father. But right, well, you don't understand how really that hurts me. Because you're not in my shoes. That's I your, can't that's control your son what people regardless. say, though. What am I her shoes when you left her, right? You wasn't in her shoes when you left her. Why well, wasn't why well, I wasn't in her shoes? If I'm supposed to be the woman like you me. love, the only you person, love me, the only but person, you don't trust the, me the only and person, believe anything I say. The only person say. on her family that likes me is him. He the one that stuck with me through everything. Yeah, because I'm on her side the whole time. I'm gonna be on her side no matter what. Okay, ma'am. Yes. Since you're talking, step up to the podium. <laughs> say your name. Marcelina Ferrone. And you are? Her best friend and Matthew, Mr. Hendrix's fiance. Okay. What do you know about this situation? He was there 100%. Me and Mr. Hendricks, we have a seventh month old daughter together. I see my nephew every day growing up without his dad in his life. <clears throat> oh, he's missing dada. He's missing crawling. He's missing the first walk. He's missing so much out of his life. I am there for her through thick and thin. When he wasn't there buying her diapers, who was? I was. This causes conflict between our, mine and Mr. Hendricks' relationship. I can't bring it up and at me home. And me and my brother's relationship. I can't bring it up at home because I'm scared that my daughter's gonna miss out on her father because of the drama. It's, this is like, it ruined us. I don't think we'll ever have a, the relationship that we had before. We used to all double date together. He was there all the time. Yeah, the ex was there some, well, sometimes, but he was there all the time. We double dated. The ex wasn't there. He wasn't there all the time. He... he was there sometimes, but they broke it off. I'm her best friend. She tells me everything. So wait. Everything. I'm glad you stood up to testify, Miss Farone. <laughs> because you say that the ex was there sometimes. Like he was but there, he like, was there all the time. In the, the beginning, when me and him was just talking, we didn't meet. I was dating the, the ex. Hold on one second, Ms. Hendricks. I, I want to get something straight no. from Ms. Farone's testimony. Now, you said while she was with Mr. Pacheco... No. She, he was not around when... She was with Mr. Pacheco, the ex was not there. Okay. She broke it off. Okay, that's not what you just said, though. In the beginning but stages, it was... On the record, you said... He was there all of the time, and the ex was there some oh of the time. When they were, when they first started, yeah, like for like a week, he would try to. The ex would still try to. So, come. Mr. Hendricks, is this the time you're talking about? More or less, yeah. <clears throat> Mr. Hendricks, do you feel like Baby Isaiah looks like Mr. Pacheco? It's extremely hard to tell on a baby, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I've seen, I've seen a lot of counts. Mr. Pacheco, you say if Isaiah is not your biological child, you can't be there. No. You said you 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 can't be in a relationship with her. Is it, is, there's no way I could forgive her. I cannot imagine a man not wanting to be in the child's life. I can't. 
He he has a bond with this child. Look how white Isaiah is. And my baby I'm is white. white. My baby's white. I have a seven-month-old daughter. They are three weeks apart, me and Mr. Hendricks. My baby is white as can be, and look at me. Look at his dad. Um, look at her daddy. It's the blue eyes, which is funny, but it's not like I got brown eyes and he got brown eyes and our baby got blue eyes. I got color eyes. Ooh, I'm ready it's, for the And results. he's white, though. That's what I don't even <laughs> I'm not gonna sit up and argue about how white a baby is. Hey, hold my hand. That's... <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Hendrix v. Pacheco, pertaining to six-month-old Isaiah, Mr. Pacheco, you are his father. That's good. My nephew has a father. That's good. That's good. I'm sorry for everything I put you through. I'm happy for all of you. Thank you. And I say that only to point out that secrets, lies, and a lack of trust, it can permeate the fabric of any relationship. Now you have the truth. The question is, will you use that truth as a building block to create a better foundation in your relationship? This was very difficult. But you've made it through, you got the truth, and now it's time to figure out what you want to do for baby Isaiah's sake. And if you don't want to be together, that's fine. Just raise him and raise him well, okay? Okay. I wish you all the best of luck. Mr. Brock, you claim you have been supporting Ms. Almanza's two children for the last five years and are convinced they are not yours. You have petitioned the court requesting a paternity test to determine if you are the father of the children in question and the one she is currently carrying, as well as a lie detector test to determine if she has been cheating. Ms. Almanza, you've also petitioned the court for a lie detector test, and you're confident that today's DNA results will prove that Mr. Brock is the father of your children. Now, Mr. Brock, why, after an 11-year relationship, do you believe the defendant has been lying and the kids may not be yours? We've been dealing with each other for, like, 11 years or whatever, but the foundation of our relationship wasn't based on, you know, you know, husband, wifey, you know. This was somebody who I was messing with during the time I was basically ending a relationship. Oh! Uh, well, you know, that's how it goes sometimes, but, We um, want the truth. Proceed. Yeah. <laughs> But, um, well, basically, she laid up with somebody that was a, a mutual friend of ours, right? During that time, she got ended up pregnant. And I, I, and I, I ended up... That was because we weren't in an exclusive relationship. Oh, so friends are ball game when it's not exclusive? Uh, okay. Well, and Continue. Then, and then, you know, I, t technical difficulties, I ended up getting incarcerated. Well, during that time... From technical difficulties. From technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. That's a new crime. Right. Technical right. difficulties. Technical difficulties. Okay. But um, before I was incarcerated, she told me that she was a certain amount of months pregnant or whatever, whatever weeks or whatever. Okay. Okay, I, I agreed with it, whatever. But then when I got incarcerated, she had a doctor appointment, and um, the timing was off from the time she said she was pregnant. Okay. So. He asked me. He didn't say anything or deny my daughter. He just asked why the timing was off, because it's gone by weeks. It's not gone by months, how he was counting. Well, so you say his calculation right. is the one that was off. Right at that time, yes. OK. So, Ms. Almanza, how does it make you feel that he's questioning the paternity of all your children? Well, it, dis it disgusts me, because... We're living together. We've been in a relationship. So, you know, if I'm having these babies, they're not, <laughs> I'm not having them by myself or with anybody else. And despite of all of that, he's still the one that's messing around. So let me but... get this straight. You're currently living together. Yes. You are obviously pregnant. pregnant. And you just said he's still messing around? Yeah, I'm okay, pretty sure good. he well, is. I'm pretty sure DNA he test is. Before, so it's like, it's not How do you know that, Ms. Almanza? How do you know that? He's Running. had a child with my relative. 
He's, no, it's not. Oh! The, that happened during the time me and our, you know, we had our little, our little time out. So, wow, this is messy. <laughs> now, speaking of DNA tests, Ms. Almanza, you refused a DNA test? No, when my daughter was born, I needed to get assistance for her medical. So I went to, you know, apply for that. And when I did, um, they asked me who the father was. To my knowledge at that time, you know, he's the father. So, you know, I named him and they went after him for child support. So when they did that, he questioned paternity. And from what he tells me, they sent me a paper asking me to come in for the DNA test. I never got anything, so I never went. But so this fueled your doubt. Uh, yeah, but I still this... took her word for it because she gave me a line like, I'm the, I'm the father, so I wouldn't want to do that to you. I wouldn't want to put that kind of energy. But the way I know, it's always mama's baby, papa's maybe. You know what I'm saying? I already know that's how I can be. And you got that... a lot of little sayings. I got to keep up with you. You got a lot of little phrases now. Yeah. Hit me with that one again. It's always mama's baby, papa's baby. Papa's maybe. Papa's, papa's maybe. maybe. Papa's maybe. Oh, that one. Well, these, yeah. and then, well as you can have, see, yeah. they look like him. I mean, look at my daughter's bubble forehead. Children. I don't have that. I have that. other children also, so I'm also, you know. So tell me what else makes you doubtful about all these children. I mean, 11 years. 11 years and he doubts me, but he's the one that I've caught with text messages and I'm pretty sure females pick him up from my house because he walks around the corner when they get not there. Is that true? So. Not blatantly in her face, I still, you, you know. said not blatantly in her face, no, but you admit exactly. to doing it. Right. Why is that? But, I mean, I mean, but I, my, to me, I, he my, tells I have, me he I have doesn't... nine other children, so it's like, I don't, I don't, uh, so, you know. What does that have to do with the nine other children? Luck be a lady, I guess. He doesn't, but, he I mean. doesn't, but see, he doesn't tell me that these are females picking him up. He doesn't tell me when it comes to the text messages. So why is it that you keep going back to him? So why is it that you keep going back to him? I don't want my children to have a part-time father. So let me ask you both this. What is your relationship like right now, Mr. Brock? It's We're a like roommates. Ride. It's a roller coaster. Like coaster. It's a roller coaster ride. <laughs> okay. Ms. Almanza, what is the state of your relationship? When it comes to him and me, I try to talk to him. At me. the same time, when it comes down to family time and things with my children, it's always me doing things. It's not him. He's never include. He's never involved. He was involved in my baby shower. He was there. So if he doesn't feel that he's the father, why was he there? So that's um, a picture from your baby shower. This is a picture from my baby shower. He was there. So, Mr. Um, Brock, you attended the baby shower. I mean, she invited my brother, invited, you know, so it's like it put me in a position to where, like, what would it look like your brother show up? I already know the little shenanigans that was put to set up for me, but your brother show up, but you don't show up. So, of course, I went. Oh, so you were duped I into told. this. It was a manipulation. Yeah, what man goes oh. to baby showers? I mean. The father really? of the child goes to the baby shower at the end. Exactly. I didn't, I, I you know. I wasn't aware of that. You know what I'm not getting, Mr. Brock? Yeah. You got a lot of phrases, but not a lot of logic. I need a logical reason. Why do you doubt after 11 years being in a relationship with this from woman? The, from the foundation of our relationship, how, how it started. The, 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 um, this is your child. If that wasn't in everyone, we wouldn't be here today. I guarantee you that, you know what I mean? But when that was presented to me, I'm not, I don't duck on none of my children. So you Probably... feel like Miss Almanza jumped up and said, well, this baby is yours. Right. And now because you gave her the benefit of the doubt, you then said, I gotta step on up to the plate. But if he doubts me and so I much, why is he still plate. having kids with me? And you kept... <laughs> uh, why? Why is, well, to me, why is the question is asked by the deaf, dumb, and blind? We weren't in a relationship. It's like I was still doing, you know, doing me, living my life, Th and she was living her life. But Don't you live he's not together with me, now? But we live together. He sleeps in the bed, in the same bed with me. Sometime. But other than and that, that's we live together. why you both have also requested lie detector tests. Right. But before that, I believe it's important to establish what these DNA results are. Jerome, if you could hand me 
the first envelope. Now there are three children in question here. Two children you have currently and one unborn child. As it relates to paternity for five-year-old Victoria Brock, Results as prepared by DNA Diagnostics are as follows. As it relates to paternity for five-year-old Victoria Brock, Mr. Brock, you are her father. That's what I need to hear. That's what I need to hear. That. It's good to hear. That's what I need to hear. You needed to hear it. He knew that. All <laughs> right. Well, let's give him some more news he needs to hear, Jerome. <laughs> then I'll give him some news I think he needs to hear. As it relates to paternity for two-year-old Giselle Brock. Mr. Brock, you are the father. That's what I'm doing. It's a great feeling. It's a, that's the understanding. That's what I tell you. It's love and not a feeling. It's an understanding. Mm-hmm. I have a distinct feeling that you may be in here wasting this court's time. Because you don't look like you have a doubt in your mind. That might be my poker And face. you never stated one on the record. I know that for sure, because I was trying to get you to. So let's bring this third envelope, Jerome. I mean, you, don't, you wouldn't feel uh, what they call it, infidelity would be a reason to doubt? The children are yours now! Well, I mean... The, the point is moot! <laughs> now, Ms. Almanza, why are you crying? What do you feel? It's just... It, it's just frustrating that we have to go through all this. He can't go by my word. Like, he keeps saying infidelity. I wasn't unfaithful to him. He I blames me and doesn't believe me because of what he does. Her action's awesome. <laughs> The bottom line is, he's trying to put it off on you when it may be him. Right. What it sounds like to me is that there is absolutely no trust in this relationship. No. I mean, you all just don't trust each other no. one bit. And that's why I'm going to seriously consider lie detector tests, but I want to get to the paternity of the unborn child because I want to make sure, Mr. Brock, you have the results you came here to get. Appreciate that. Okay? So, in regards to paternity for Miss Almanza's unborn child, Mr. Brock, you are the father. Mr. Brock, now that it has been established that you are these children's father, I want to hear less quotes and phrases and sayings, and I want to see more action from you so that these children understand that their father loves them and that their father supports them and is there for them. I know. I'm, I'm a hell of a guy with heavenly intentions. That's a guarantee. Awesome. That's a guarantee. I will disregard that statement yeah, and strike it from the record. Uh, anyway, as for the lie detector test, neither of you trust the other one at all. So for that reason, the court is going to order both of you to submit to lie detector tests. Mr. Brock, I'm going to order that you submit to yours today. 
But Ms. Almanza, because you are pregnant, you have two heartbeats going now at once. Mm -hmm. I will not administer this test today, of course. After you have the baby, within one month, I am ordering that you take this lie detector test. Mr. Brock, I want you to take this test right now. <laughs> the court needs to take a recess. We will reconvene shortly with the results. So, Jerome, please escort Mr. Brock out of the courtroom and get his lie okay. detector test. You have that envelope for me? I've got Jerome. the results right here. Mr. Brock? You seem a little nervous. Is there anything you'd like to say to this court before I read these results? Yeah, I'm, I mean... I'm I listening. I, I, love, I love this woman. You know, I'm at, I'm at the point where I know I need to make a lot of adjustments in my life. This, 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 this... this you know, this, this is her, you know? Man, Brenda. I, f I feel like a fool, really, but I need you in my life. I need you to be that woman. I ask that you, please, you know what I mean? Please, will you marry me? Ms. Almanza, not to be in your business, yeah. <laughs> but I have me. to ask you if you'd like to hear these results before you respond, and it's up to you. I do. I want, I want to know. Okay. Ms. Almanza, you wanted to know if Mr. Brock has cheated on you since you have been in a committed relationship. He admitted to cheating on three different occasions, which he says you knew about. I think I knew of two. Of course, I found out after, but three. We can move on to the next okay. question. He can go into detail okay. <laughs> later. Now, the lie detector administrator then asked Mr. Brock, other than the three women you admitted to, have you had any type of sexual contact with anyone other than Ms. Almanza since you have been in a committed relationship? Mr. Brock, you said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Moving on. Really? Lastly, you admitted to having sexual contact with Ms. Almanza's family member in August 2012. The lie detector administrator asked if you have had any sexual contact with this person since then. Mr. Brock, you said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh! You failed every question. The, the, the lie detector test is a lie. That's what. Oh. Our problem is just our trust issue. Well, That's Mr. what the main Brock, thing was. You better leave here thanking your lucky stars that is something this woman still sees in you. <laughs> that she did not turn you down flat on your face right here today after you failed every question she asked you. In this lie she detector we, we test. Stop talking and listen. <laughs> Mr. Brock. Mr. Brock. You have a beautiful young woman that loves you, despite your faults. She has pretty much been waiting on you to grow up. And it's time to be a man. <laughs> now, I want to provide those resources to you. I hope you take advantage of them and learn how to be a family and great parents for your children, whether or not you choose to get married or not. I'm still holding you to your lie detector results, Ms. Almanza. But if I had to bet, I'd be betting on hers. <laughs> Mr. Matherson, you and your mother have demanded the defendant, Ms. Robinson, appear in court today because you claim you are not the father of her three-year-old son, Jaden, and say she's been ducking a paternity test for years. Is that correct? Yes, yes Your Honor. Honor. Ms. Robinson, you and your mother say Mr. Matherson has known this is his child from day one. 
and he needs to grow up and stop running from his responsibilities. Is that correct? Yes, yes Your, Your Honor. Honor. So, Mr. Matheson, why wait three years to come to this court? Uh, Your Honor, I didn't wait three years. I waited... Uh, well, I tried last year to contact this same court, and uh, she refused. She was ducking and dodging, you know. I do see in the court records... Original contact date is June of 2015. So, that was more than a year ago. You say Ms. Robinson's been ducking and dodging. Yes, Your Honor. We've been trying. Ms. Robinson, have you been ducking this case? No, Your Honor. I haven't been contacted by anyone. I have no reason to duck and dodge. Because are you certain? Um, 100%. Jaden is three years old. I've seen him maybe five or six times during the three years. Alexis is always keeping Jaden away from us. There's nothing... We, we're not accomplishing anything. So, today is the day to find out if Jaden is my grandson. So, Ms. Robinson, are you keeping Jaden away from Ms. Brooks and Mr. Matheson? Right now, Your Honor, I am. Why? Because, um... Tawana is not responsible. I also sent the threat that my son, when he got my son, he was going to take him back to Ohio. So, yes, Your Honor, I did yes, not. Yes, I was going to take him to Ohio to see my family if he was mine. Without my permission. Without your permission. The thing is, Alexis, from the beginning, we found out she Alexis confused. Was pregnant she don't know. With, with she don't know what's going on. She don't know who she it wants was told to, to me. To it was told to me. That's all. To get a paternity test when we found out she was pregnant by close friends. So friends... someone told you yes. to get a paternity test. Correct, because she's very promiscuous and that she is following in her mother's footsteps. This didn't start for the paternity test until me and his mom got into it last year, and she spoke up and started speaking with a paternity test. And I guess this was no, no, mind that's with, with his mom. That's not true. As things start going on, and we it, it was a fight trying to get to see Jaden, is when I start saying we need to get a paternity test because no real mother is going to keep a child from her father. I don't care what Your the aunt, well, there's no real mother. I don't going to let the their child is. just go when he's well, getting no threats with this young yeah, woman. Let me talk about the their child. Let's I wanted get to some order. Be a, Let's be get some order. I want to understand. Mr. Matheson, what are you saying? I wanted my son to be a junior. My name is no part of his name, period. That's for one. Oh, so do you feel because they never considered giving Jaden your name that that was somehow an indication that he may not be yours? Your Honor, um, I didn't feel like I should have liar. to give him my... his last name because at the same time, we was not married. Um, I believe my son should my have son my last name because no Taiwan at the beginning... Jaden, I'm sorry. Taiwan was not showing me any responsibility that he would be able to take care of my child. Because y'all wanted him to give y'all his... his money to put in a bank. I asked... I... Y'all to spend I so asked... y'all enjoy Man, it. we're it talking... Like we're that. talking about a newborn child, so I was taking full responsibility of taking care of their child. I did not have... But no. if I'm going to him and I'm saying, give me $20 a week for your child, that's $100 a month. That's not no money for no but child. Money, this should be no pressure on it. Money go to you. He... But at the... So, hold on. Before we get there, I, I want to go back because I want to understand this relationship. You two are very young. Correct. Were, were you high school sweethearts? At one point in high school, yes. Did you use protection? No. Obviously not. Were you all in a committed relationship? Yeah, well, from what I know, yes. I don't mean, she's a compulsive liar. She... She does what she wants. She's very Very sneaky. vindictive. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, we are here because, like you said, Alexis is very promiscuous. There were times when you couldn't find Alexis and child. you found her with a lot of guys. That was I never the case. But even, even if that was the case, what does that have to do with the paternity of your child, your son? Well, it does have something to baby. do with the paternity if she was sleeping with any of these guys. I was right. not. That's just what she's saying. For I example. Was not. One at a time. You're saying that's not true, Miss Robinson. I was either... My mama was very strict at the time. <laughs> I was either at school or around Taiwan. Around I... me, huh? What about when I went to work and you was with a boy and supposedly all y'all did was kiss? Sorry. What was guy is that, Mr. Madison? I've never heard about a guy named... A couple days later, she told me because someone told her if she didn't tell me, they were going to tell me. Um, I did, did recall so she came my mom didn't even allow me to have a cell phone at this time. Let it go. So, all this is a lie, Miss Robinson. Correct. Basically, this is the first time we ever heard of we'll it. See. Ever. So, uh, you're saying, Miss Robinson, that you never even heard about this questioning of the paternity. Until last year. Until last year. got into it and she texted, but I've never heard anything from Taiwan until now. Now. The thing about it is, it boils down to it's like they're money hungry. And just like Ty said at the beginning, she um, wanted $25 Honor... a week from Taiwan for the baby. Y'all put y'all side up. What we do on our side, we got this. Well, uh, we got this. Why Honor, that wasn't but doing that. Y'all bills for y'all. If Jaden is we... living in, our, in my home... Under my so roof, 
whatever you're doing for Jaden, if we're never seeing, how's that happening, this child? Okay, that, that, so, yes, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. We have all right, right. One at a time. I Let's get some order. She fast. Watch her. She fast. And that, that very first time when I was told somebody she was pregnant, the first thing out of their mouth, get a paternity test. If you feel like And that's like why it, I'm here. If you feel like this is it, not the first time you're hearing you this. Why was you showing up at the house, Lee? You was, you was to buying stuff. To see if I could see you, any features of him. I don't see any features of Taiwan. But Lee, you still how do you feel so sweet? You still been saying this is your grandma. Well, you know, today is the day. Regardless of whatever Lexus had going to Taiwan, your son needs to grow up and be a man and take care and of his child. And she needs to grow up and be a mother. And she needs to grow up and be a mother. Because if he's never, like all right, one at a time. Fair. Listen, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I don't understand what any of you all are saying, and I really don't want to have to dismiss your case. I want to understand this, Ms. Robinson. Yes. You have not allowed Mr. Matheson to take Jaden. Recently, he was just getting Jaden around Jaden's birthday. So you did see Jaden around his birthday, Mr. Matheson. Correct, but that was and the first time in a long. And even though you go and pick him up, you still have a doubt when you look at the baby. Yes, sir. I mean, he's three now. He's not even a baby, yes, and he's sir. a little boy. You have and, doubt. And there's a lot of different reasons why I have doubt. Tell me. Come pick him up. Huh, well, Let him is, speak. The first reason is I, I didn't get a chance to sign the birth certificate. Fear I kept you. calling. Kept calling. Oh, yeah, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Never got to do it. Next thing you know, she disappeared after Christmas. You know, I got evidence, Did you know. Talk up with another that, what you know, evidence is that? The birth certificate that I didn't get to sign it. Let me see that. Ron, will you hand that to me, please? <laughs> Here you go, Your Honor. Thank you. You submitted the birth certificate to court. And it does not have your name. Right. You're saying that you were asking to sign this. When are we gonna execute it? And they right. kept telling you, we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. But then it never got done. Right. And to this date, three years later, you still aren't listed on the birth certificate. Correct. And you feel like that's them giving you the runaround because they know you're not the biological father. Right. What was the second point you were about to make? I second wanna understand point, it. It's like, even when we were together, she, she's been with different, different people. It was, you know, this guy, which ended up being, you know, her boyfriend now. For example, I why called... Would, why would he for call example, another man's for example, dad? For example, you know... Uh, why would she allow him to do that? Is, it, does Jaden call another man dad, Miss Robin? No, no, Your Honor. Then there, you can ask him. You can, no, you can Your interact Honor. interact with him. He does not. He call him Greg. And as far as the birth certificate goes, she had never obtained his birth certificate. So they were supposed to go together for him to sign it and to buy it. Taiwan was supposed to pop, pay for the birth certificate. That's something he chose never to do. So nobody pressured the issue as far as you want to sign. Ain't nobody finna pay no money for you to put your name on something if you're not there to support the child. So that's what it was. It went, uh, we had a problem with it. You wouldn't know. It's always about money. Since Jada, the day Jada been born, my mom have been helping me take care of this child. At that time, I did not have a job. I'm only 19. I graduated and got a job so I could take care of my responsibilities. At the end of the day, I have not seen any progress from Mr. Matthews. You're not gonna see any progress. Oh, exactly. I, I Let's get some order. Because Showing it's becoming tip. obvious. Crazy. Listen. You don't show and tell him to who's supposed to be his father. Mr. Though, Matherson, it? it's becoming a power struggle and the paternity issue is still on the table. I'm trying to move this forward and understand where you all are. Now, Mr. Matherson has stated he believes there's another gentleman that could be Jaden's father. I want to hear from him. Ron, can you please escort him into the courtroom? Yeah. Okay. seat next to the judge. Hello, sir. How you doing? Have a seat. State your name for the record. Gregory Collins. Mr. Collins. Mr. Collins, Mr. Matherson has indicated that he believes that you are Jaden's biological father. Do you believe you are? Uh, I'm 100% sure I'm not his father because I wasn't even talking to a lizard on that level at that time. Are you all in a relationship or are you friends? Don't say nothing. And we've been friends five for five point. years. Okay. Since they've been known each other, they just... So I you've been friends for five Correct. years? Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. Correct. So now... We're in a relationship right now. Now you're in a relationship. How long have you all been in this relationship? About three months. Exactly. Three months. Okay, so 90 days. And the child's three years old. You mean to tell me it take three months to raise a child? You've been in your... You've been, you been, you been, you been, you been in her life three how Three years. You ain't did nothing. Three years, right? Three years. How would you know? How, I know how, how can he do anything if we can... How can you go he do off anything told you, they right? allow oh. him to see him? Exactly. You say you are sure you are not Jaden's biological father. Yeah. And yet you've been a father figure to him. Yep. Have you witnessed Mr. Matherson try to step up to the plate and see no. Jaden? Because he ain't been no. around that long, that's why. I seen him trying to 
sexual comments. You over here trying to text her sexual comments, and that's not cool. Could you prove that? Yeah. No, you couldn't. He was sending the comments talking about doing what she used to do to him, and she doing it to me, and stuff like that. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> it's sad because this child is three. You just talk at one another. You don't have conversation. None of you. Just constant accusation. And the worst part of it is, you arguing that they haven't done anything and they arguing that you don't let them do anything. From a person in my position, this is just so ridiculous on so many levels. It's yeah. ridiculous. No. Y'all not gonna out-talk me or over-talk me. I'm talking now. Because this is some nonsense for this child. The point is, is how you all can be on to opposite sides of the same page. Because it sounds like to me, they are saying they want to see this child until, even until they know whether or not it's his biological child, and you're saying he's not stepping up to the plate. Everybody's so offended. I'm offended for Jaden. I really am. You're too comfortable in just, just the argument. I but no one's too. coming up with solutions. The only way we're gonna figure out how to move forward, I should say, is to get the results, and I have the Ron, I'm ready for the envelope. Yes, ma'am. The results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Matherson versus Robinson, when it comes to three-year-old Jaden Robinson, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Collins, you are not the father. Sleepy, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, you should wake up. <laughs> Don't play in this he courtroom. He he got no, 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 no. What That's you're right. not gonna do in this very serious moment where I'm getting the answers for this child? Now, you don't come in here like you surrogate father of the year. Now, when I turn my head, you gonna clown? That's, that's what we're not the gonna father. do. That's what we're not gonna do. He don't know. He must not. No, I don't want to hear it. I, I, I'm done with testimony. We'll sit around here and clown at this turning point in this child's life. In the case of Matheson v. Robinson, when it comes to three-year-old Jaden Robinson, it has been determined by this court. In the case of Matheson v. Robinson, when it comes to three-year-old Jaden Robinson, Mr. Matheson, you are the father. That's your little boy. Now, can we see him? Your Honor. Now, can we see him? May I have that paper, please? Now, I oh, honey, I ain't gonna hold that copy of it. This was about to have that. That's what's going may on. May I have custody? Partial. Hold Partial. on. Full. Partial. Hold on. None of you let anyone finish a sentence. You so quick with a comeback, you keep going back. Backwards. Because you don't listen. Now, you all can bring this child up in this nonsense if you want. And when his life is in turmoil, when his spirit is half full, when he's questioning who he is and why he is and where he belongs, then you all gonna have to take the blame for that. Because when you bring a child up in a toxic environment, that's what happens. Now, the first thing you need to work on, Mr. Matherson, you're not on his birth certificate. So you're gonna have to take these results back to your home state and you're gonna have to petition the court because you need to get your name on his birth certificate. But you have to take the initiative. It's hard to get them to do if that, you are, Listen, let's not talk in the negative because it only, it only manifests more negativity. Now, you're his daddy. People look to their father to protect them, to provide for them. Which I will do. Part of that protection is protecting not only him physically, but mentally and emotionally. And you too, Miss Robinson, because at the end of the day, you two are the parents. You all have to create a safe space for this child. Yonder, because y'all have gotten on my last nerve in 30 minutes. I can only imagine what you're gonna do to him in 30 seconds. If you can't figure it out for yourselves, 
the court will figure it out for That's, you. Yeah. That's what the, the court yes, right. and, and there will be visitation right. parameters on record and you can abide by them or you can be held in contempt. Yeah. You don't even know how blessed he is that he got the answer today. And you all were blessed with resolution today. And there's absolutely no gratitude for it. You're just still angry. I'm not angry. I'm not I just want to see him. We knew the results when we came. So I'm not angry not at all. I'm not talking about, about that. Mr. Harrison, you are suing the defendant, Ms. Grant, for paternity fraud. You've also petitioned the court to remove your name from the acknowledgement of paternity document for four-year-old Aaliyah Harrison because you claim you signed it under false pretenses. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Grant, yes. you claim you may have lied about your ongoing affair, but you did not lie about Mr. Harrison being your daughter's biological father. Absolutely, Your Honor. Yes, ma'am. So, Mr. Harrison, explain, why are you suing for fraud? Well, Your Honor, I, I signed my acknowledgement for paternity for, for my daughter, and I've done everything for her since the day she's been born. I've had several people come to me through Facebook and through text messaging on my phone saying that, you know, Aaliyah is not your, not your daughter. I don't care what, you know, Miss Grant is saying. She is not your, she is not your daughter. Are they so. explaining what they base this, this assertion on? Well, apparently it's, it's through several of her friends, you know, that they're maybe she's had... They're not any kind of friends of mine, Your Honor, if they're going around talking behind my back. Well, see, I have to say that the person that gave me these, these accusations had no reason other than the fact that they had, you know, had an argument and she felt like she had to get a little bit of revenge on, on her, you know, and started telling me okay. things such as. But also said, you know, this child does not look anything like you. You need to start doing a little bit of investigation. Well, she's on your biracial, daughter. Your Honor. What is she supposed to look like? She looks like herself. She, okay, doesn't, so she, doesn't, is... she doesn't look like she so has anything. Ms. Grant... You do admit you cheated, is that correct? Yes. I had had a relationship with a man that I had met when I was very young. I met him when I was 18 years old. Um, he was a good friend to me. Mr. Harrison, when did you find out about this Your Honor, when he went snooping through I, I my have phone. To, I have to say, she's had, she was, had this affair with this person for 15 years. I've only been with her for eight. So this goes way before we were ever even together in the first place. So after eight years with her and a previous child before the one in question, we've already had a child together. So she's been cheating on me literally the entire eight year span that we were together, including the time of our first child. So just take me to the day when you found out. How, okay, how, I found happened? out. I found out when uh, I was bringing home like a, a dryer or something like that and asked her to help me out bringing it in and, and she wasn't helping me the way I needed to be helped getting it through the door and I started getting maybe a little bit upset, you know, just trying to bring a big washer and I needed help guiding it through. She got upset and she said, you know, I just don't want to do this anymore. I just don't want to do it anymore. I didn't want to have to keep lying to him, Your Honor. I got tired of, you know, being dishonest and being disrespectful in my relationship and I gave him every option to, you know, decide what he wanted to do. And so I decided that instead of letting somebody else blackmail me like my so-called friend had done... How about honesty? How about honesty seven years ago? How about, you know, honesty at the very beginning? Well, well and I want to understand what happened that day. So out of the blue, help me move the washer turns into, I just don't want to do well, this. It turns I, into I, him getting frustrated and upset. fussing and cursing. And I said, you know what? I can't do this anymore with you. But and so, Ms. Grant... Who was this person? What This person was a friend of mine. Um, I had met this person when I was 18 years old. I was a single parent of a two-year-old daughter at the time. Um, he helped me with her. He helped me financially. He has bought cars. He has paid rent. He has paid bills. Okay? Um, when I met Mr. Harrison and I told my friend, I'm in love and we're gonna have a baby. And he wished me the best. He said, I'm gonna bow out gracefully. I know you'd like to get married. And, you know, that wasn't his intention for me. And so, you know, like a real friend, he just wanted to know how I was doing. Was this strictly platonic or was this a sexual relationship? At times it was sexual, but for the most part, it was platonic while I was with Mr. Harrison. But this whole and time, how she did would you, sit there and go run off. How did you manage argue? to do this for 15 years, but eight years while you were with Mr. Harrison? How did you pull this off? This Lies. Non-stop, the entire time. Because I've asked lies. her several times throughout lying. this entire eight-year relationship if she's ever cheated. Absolutely not. I would never cheat on you. Ms. Grant, Mr. Harrison is 
suing you yes, for paternity fraud. Yes, ma'am. Because he says he signed the acknowledgement of paternity under false pre pretenses because he feels like you misled him, lied. Yes, but and... I didn't lie about the paternity. I lied about whether or not I was seeing somebody, but like I said, the person wasn't even in our area at the time. So you're saying you were not sleeping with this person? Not at that time, no. During the time Aaliyah was conceived? But how am I supposed to ever believe that after an entire eight-year relationship? Aaliyah's only four now. You see what I'm saying? That's a long time to supposedly Absolutely, not just be, Absolutely, that's a long you know, time, but that's why so we're here now. So your point is, how do I believe that well, when you already admitted... Well, she told me when she admitted up to all this, she told me, yes, it's been going on the whole time. But I also, when I came clean, I gave you the option whether or not you wanted to stay, whether or not you wanted to go ahead and call it quits for good forever. Yes, you're right. Or if you wanted to go ahead and, you know, lay it out all out Because I'm not a deadbeat and actually want to be around my you. children if they're mine, you know? I'm not going to sit there. I'm not oh. going to sit there. I, I told her time and time again, I said, I don't care how bad at times our relationship is. Let's wait until the kids get older so that they can understand a little bit better than dad just leaving at four and seven years old. The thing is, I love her to death. We, she's my best friend, you know, and, love, and she really is. Look, I mean, like, look, I could spend 100 hours there are straight a with her lot and never... of people out here that love people it's but don't lies. trust them. It's it, the absolutely. lies. That's all it boils down that... to is lies. That's it. It's just the lies. I, I feel like she will lie for no reason whatsoever. Ms. Grant, when were you last intimate with this other guy? Um, December. In December. Before um, Mr. Harrison and I decided to try and reconcile, um, we had been living apart for almost 10 months. Almost, almost 10 months. And so this is just months ago, two months ago. She, let me, let that me you really... say this. I had major ankle surgery uh, in February of 2014. She decided that was the time she wanted to break up. And while I'm in mobile, I can't even get up from the couch. After major ankle surgery, she was dolling up and darting out the door while I had to watch the kids on crutches. Couldn't even get off the couch. And despite this, you still wanted to be with her. Absolutely. I tried. And it, and it, and it wasn't... I love her and I love my kids so much. You know, that I was willing to bend over backwards and forgive her for all of her misdeeds. All of them. What about all your misdeeds? Every single one of them. Don't sit there and act like you haven't cheated I'm on not, me. I'm not saying he that... He cheated on me with someone who is, um, he's an indie pro wrestler. He cheated on me with someone who they call ring rats. They call them ring rats for a reason, Your Honor. Okay. The relationship is definitely torn. Yes. In turmoil. Yes. And now I was ready to lay it all out and, in line. And, and now the paternity, though, of this beautiful young child is in question. I'm to the point where, you know, we, we laid everything out but on the table. But you feel like it was all false pretenses, that she lied the entire time and I set you up for this. That's what paternity fraud yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did lie. I admit to lying about being so how am I to know? with how am somebody I to know? else I mean, here and you know, there. How am I so to know? do you also admit, Ms. Grant, to basically defrauding him, basically saying, this is your child? When you knew for certain that it was not his child, did you no, do that? No, ma'am. I knew 100% that she was his child because she was conceived during a blizzard. What does snow on the ground have to do with a child's paternity? Because the other person doesn't like the cold weather and he went to Florida. She feels like she could sit she there and name there. the day of conception. I can. Her. And I hold don't on, see how... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, let me... I have a conception calculator here. I want to understand this. So... What day was Aaliyah born? Her birthday is September 15th of 2010. September 15th, 2010. If her birth date's September 15th, the dates of conception would be somewhere between December 19th to December 27th. Yes, ma'am. Her let birthday me, is September 15th. Let, 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 you say this is a blizzard. This is how you know it could not be the other man's child is because this man doesn't like the he cold. Took off. And so he was not there. He no. was gone. Yeah, he took off. All right, so let me pull up the weather. <laughs> it doesn't make much sense, Your Honor, because this person I'm doesn't sorry, have the time in the, uh, the time to That person has the time and the money to do whatever he wants. It says here, snowfall drifts several feet deep. Hmm, it was a bad. That. It was a bad. It was a bad year. And it was a bad year the year before as well. I mean, we had ice storms that almost so like... So, the bottom so. line is, is the weather that Ms. Grant is describing is, in fact, true, that it was very snowy weather 
And her recollection is this gentleman that she has had this 15-year-long affair does not like the snow, so he was gone. Do you believe that assertion or not? No. <laughs> no, I don't. That's what I wanted no, to understand. I don't. I don't expect him to believe it. I expect him to believe cold, hard facts and your results. I, 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 everything in me wants to believe everything she said. I've been with her eight years, almost nine. I want to believe everything. Off and on, not straight through, because there's no, been times where he hasn't been. There's been ups and downs. Like I said, there's been ups and but downs. Time Grant, is me. Ms. Grant, you do understand. Yes, ma'am. Based on your testimony and what you've admitted to in your relationship, that at this point he just doesn't believe. I don't anything expect for him to believe said. anything, but he also, I, you know, we're at the point where we don't believe each other about anything except for what I, time it is and if it's sunny outside or I not. cannot go any further in the relationship as far as marrying her, moving back into the house with her until I get something in concrete about Elise. And my kids keep coming to me and asking me when he comes to visit, where's daddy going? I have to, I have to also and sit there and say, she has three other kids. She has three other kids other than mine that I've also taken in. So the truth is the stakes are very high. Yes, and it's not just this relationship on the line. There's an entire family. It's five people. Entire five people. Five people. And it's not just this relationship on the line. There's an entire family. Five people. Five people inside the house right now are affected by what's going on. More than five people. And you... I have people right now telling me that I ought to be ashamed of myself for even being here to prove to this man who I am in love with at this very moment, even though he is accusing me of not knowing who the father of my child is, that I ought to be ashamed of myself for wanting to come in front of you and prove to him and the rest of the world that, yes, I've done wrong, but I'm willing to admit that, and I'm willing to right those wrongs for my children. But, Ms. Grant, <laughs> as you stand there, and I see how emotional you are when you speak... Yes, ma'am. You do understand that much of this you've caused yes, by this 15-year-long affair and Pure the dishonesty. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. But your point is, that. is that you're ready now to just step up to the plate, admit what you've done wrong. Because he has the right to know. When we got into it and she I goes... I was willing to lay it goes, all out there leaving. so that he could be there for the kids if he wanted to be. If he doesn't believe that she's his, that's his problem. And so, if Aaliyah is not your biological daughter, what are you gonna do? Are you, are you leaving the family? Are you gonna try to work this out? I just think, after all the lies, I just don't think I could bring myself to reconcile again with her. Her friend that had hit me up She's on Facebook not any and texted, type of friend of she, mine. she apparently told her to friend her that I was not her dad. So that's... Like, a, that's she knows she wasn't there with us. She, apparently, you told her. No, I didn't. I she. I don't know. Mm. Okay. Your Her father. friend told you that Miss Grant said that you're not the father. Yes. I never said that. You state and you are suing because you believe, Mr. Harrison, that Miss Grant purposefully, with intention, lied to you about the fact that you were Aaliyah's biological father. I just don't think... I don't think it's a, it's a question of her trapping me or whatnot. I think it was, it was more or less... It was the time, and when she found out she was pregnant, we both kind of found out at the same time, and I was supposed to be the only one around, and with her not... Her wanting I, to break up with me just on spike because she didn't want to come clean and tell sir, the truth. Sir, I understand that. that. But you have to understand that there is a difference as you talk about a legal cause for paternity fraud. There is a difference between not wanting to tell my partner, my mate, that I've also had an affair to purposefully, with intention, defrauding him, telling him, you are the father of this child Bar when I, I know for certain that. that somebody else is and making you sign an acknowledgement of paternity. Those are two completely different things. And even though the lie she told, the lie she lived, was morally wrong on every level, the legal foundation for paternity fraud has just not been presented here in this courtroom today. And, you know, as I look to the law in your home state, even though you're able to sue for paternity fraud, there's a statute of limitations. It's not contestable after 24 months, Your Honor. He's the daddy. You I... know Aaliyah's four now. Yeah. You would have had two five. years. And you have a lot on the line here. Yes, morally, wrong on every level. Legally, not paternity fraud. 
He doesn't believe she's his because of the... the I think it's time for the results. Are we ready? Yes, yes, Your Honor. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Harrison versus Grant, when it comes to four-year-old Aaliyah Harrison, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Harrison, you are her father. I told you. I'm happy. Good. Good. How do you feel, Ms. Grant? I feel vindicated, Your Honor. Absolutely. I may have lied about my affair, but I know who the father of my child is. Are you all gonna try to work this thing out? I hope we can. I would like to. I really would. I hope we can. I forgave I her for everything. When she, sat, when she and I sat down and had this talk, we hashed it all out. Let me say this to you both. And we have resources for you in counseling, and I want you to take advantage of that. Ms. Foster, you claim you and your ex-boyfriend planned your pregnancy only to have him abandon you and deny paternity. You are here to prove that he is your daughter, Jakiah's biological father. You want him to step up and take care of his daughter. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Jackson, you say Ms. Foster cheated on you multiple times during your relationship and there is no way you are Jakiah's father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Foster, tell us, why do you need to open your case? I'm opening this case today because, Your Honor, I have a one-year-old child who we plan on having. She looks like him. Beautiful. She acts like him. Um, he doesn't step up to nothing. I mean, he's posted pictures on that, social media. That's, that's not he, my baby. He just I, it can't... gives me nothing. She yeah. don't even post the baby on social media. So you admit you haven't been stepping up. I'm not talking about social media. I'm talking about like, real parenting. I can't say I admit it to anything because I always say I'll do this and I'll do that. How did this relationship even start? Ma'am, oh, Your Honor, this relationship started through social media. We found each other through oh, Facebook. Oh, social media. I should have known. No wonder we're talking about social media. Okay, go ahead. We found each other through social media, so we had a mutual friend. Um, they vouched for him, said he was a good person, so we jumped into a relationship. I had my first child, and he did come bring us to his mother's house, but he was claiming my first child knowing she wasn't his baby, but then when we plan a baby, he doesn't deny this child at all. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. I, I, well, I want to understand this. So this first baby was not his biological child. Correct. But he took you home to his mother like, look at my girlfriend and our baby. Correct. Then what happens? The In the midst of us staying together, he told me I was going to be his baby's mother because I'm the best mother in the world. That's why he said it. Actually. Facts. No. Facts, Your Honor. No. I am the we best was, mother in the world. Having, he can't you know say what anything. Saying, he hasn't even on stepped up to be even a but stepdad. But the man that she had dropping her off at my house, claiming was her brother, was the dude she was sleeping with. Correct, Your Honor. Know. It definitely and was. Basically, what the story was, she already came to my house pregnant by her so-called brother. You feel me? And. It was like, I mentioned it to her, you feel me? She saw like she used me Your for Honor, a place to I stay. I can't come nowhere pregnant all the, all if I just had a baby and it's January and I wasn't pregnant. So wait, you're so in why this you ain't relationship. Me doing no, wait a minute. You're in a relationship living at his mother's house. With him, yes. He thinks you all are boyfriend and girlfriend. No, Your Honor, he doesn't think. He had a whole nother girlfriend out of town. He wants the playhouse yeah. here and there and have us in a polygamous relationship, which he don't got it like that. Actually, I wasn't playing house. Actually, he was. Then, at some point, you all, you find out you're pregnant again. Yes, Your Honor, after he left out of town again. So what happened? I was talking in a relationship with him, and when I found out he was in a relationship with the other female, I went to go continue doing me with the Marquise gentleman that could be the alleged father as well. I was sleeping with both guys, and, I mean, you had two girlfriends, why well, can't have two no, boyfriends? No, I call... No, I call... Oh! Mom. And you said it's my brother. Sure did. Yes, sure. Right. 
which I used to call my friend, but... Well... First day denying it, I'm like, you know what I'm saying, kick him out. Wait, so you think you in a relationship, but she's sleeping with your friend? Yes, at no, my Your Honor, house. No, Your Honor, we yes, were not you were. together when he left. We were not together. But you still in my mama's Daddy house when I left, part. though, you feel me? That's pointless. I mean, that matters nothing to me. How many times I, I mean, was you like, left, you, know, you brought her me out. her, you left but her, her and my mama get back cool for Me and my baby stayed. That's just what it was. So, Miss Foster, I want you to take me to the day you found out you were pregnant. I fell to the floor. I did three rolls around the floor in the doctor's office because I wasn't having no kids if I'm finna be a single mother to two children by myself. I'm 20. It's not happening. So, at that point, I told Marquise because Marquise was there. Physically, he was gone, out of sight, wasn't worried about him. Marquise is the brother. Yeah. Who wasn't a brother. Oh, yeah, brother. the yeah. brother who wasn't a brother. Okay. Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> so I told him, I'm pregnant. You could be the father. It's out of you and Sean. Off back, I told them. Slept with y'all around the same time in the same week. She never said that. When did and you tell father. Mr. Jackson? A month later. So you waited a whole month? Because we weren't speaking. No, we After was he already left in the house. to Chicago, so we were Mr. Not Jackson, yes. do you remember when she told you? I'm the pregnant. baby that she, Kaya, that she was pregnant with, the man Marquis already in the phone talking about that was his child. She came to my house pregnant. I didn't hear from her after I came to Chicago until she had the baby. She was six months when I first heard about her. Oh, you know? look at that. Miss Foster, I do have to ask you this. Okay. If you know you are sleeping with two guys, why are you just bringing Mr. Jackson to court? I went to the doctor's office. They gave me the conception calendar. I got pregnant February 21st. That's the same day you left. So that week and that week before, I had a menstrual period. We're sleeping together the entire time. While I'm on, in the shower, every night, every day, three times a day, <laughs> lunch, we breakfast, and dinner, and I was two weeks. Dessert. What are you talking about? We two were together for two, two weeks, bro. Seven days to get pregnant, baby. Well, you, you not shooting blanks? You I'm shooting. I'm not the only one that's shooting hard. Okay, so <laughs> right. my right, conception right. day said February 21st is when you were fertilized. You were still there, so... But didn't you also admit you were having sex with both guys because if he could have two girlfriends, you could have two boyfriends? By me going to medical school, I kind of know what I'm talking about as far as the female productive system. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, yes, okay. Yes, I wish you would have known so much about what you was talking about that you would have known who your child's father was. I mean, I okay. was, but... So, I but mean, go ahead. But go ahead, honey. Is, go I mean, ahead. School us. Two girlfriends, two boyfriends. School us. You told me you had two boyfriends because he had two girlfriends. And you were sleeping with them at the same time. What I'm asking is, were you having a sexual relationship with the other guy at the same time you were having it with Mr. Jackson? Not the exact same time. No, Your Honor, I was not. So it is your testimony that during the window of conception, you only slept with Mr. Jackson? Yes, Your Honor. Your Honor. This is not right. Yes, but you Honor. say that's not true. That's not right. Mr. Jackson, I want to hear from you. Me too. Jakaya's 15 months old. Right. What kind of relationship do you have with her? None. Because I don't talk to her through the phone. Lies. Man, you don't even click. We get on the phone and argue, me, you, and my girl every time. You feel me? So what's the point of keep calling her? Me and my girl got... So is that fighting. the long way of saying you don't even spend no time with her? I, I, I'm like yes, four hours away. I asked her, you feel me? I can go and get Jakaya. Oh, no, you're not bringing her up there. Woo, woo. My girl ain't got nothing to do with that. This girl is... If this is my daughter, you feel me? Then why can't I be around her? So your Who thing, even said I have to come back is, to Chicago tried, with Your point is, I but she doesn't want the baby around my new girl. Basically. So we haven't been able to establish Basically. a relationship. They on the phone, best friends. Then the next day, so she on the So you have never seen this baby in person? No. In your life? No. Wow. Never hugged her? Never... Nothing? Nothing. Not yet. Nothing. 15 months? Th th this is the part that drives me crazy. Everybody know how to meet halfway to make a baby, but don't know that know how to meet halfway to come see the baby and establish a relationship with a parent. None of my family know about the baby. No, no that's not I... my right. point. That's not my point. This happens too often. Everybody knows how to get together to make the baby. Where are we gonna meet up? Where are we gonna have sex? Where are we going? No, don't, don't talk when I'm talking. You all made all the plans 
in the world when it was time to get, get to the good part, making the baby. This is my baby. It ain't your baby. Moved her into the house. You got sex right under your roof. Y'all doing all that. Then I ask a question, why in 15 months, 15, y'all couldn't come together to figure out how does he meet the baby you say is his? Why haven't you said to yourself, girlfriend, I love you to death, but I got a beautiful little baby girl over here and I'm supposed to be the daddy, I got to go make a way and meet this girl halfway and see my child. Yeah. Why is that not possible? I been said we can meet. You feel me? I did. But she you're said saying she was going to go buy a car. It. She said she was going to buy a car. We can meet halfway. Next thing you know, her excuse was her friend stole all her money. So it's exactly. your testimony. You make a plan, I been made but the then plan. Ms. Foster don't I show been up. I made a plan because I have to go and get my little brother from St. Louis. So your it Honor. was just like that. Okay, look, Garon, exactly why you said that. He just, he just like a month ago, came down to St. Louis to go pick up his brother. His girlfriend texted my phone. We would like to see Kaya. I said that's fine. You guys cannot take her out, but you guys can meet her. I waited at my house for a whole weekend for them. No show. Oh, Chan's getting ready to bring her some diapers. No show. But I'm communicating with your girlfriend because you won't talk to me. Okay, cool. But anyways, Your Honor... Wait, wait, wait. So I want to give him a chance to respond because it Thank sounds you. like, to me, you had the opportunity Plenty. to see this baby. First of all, we had this conversation. Why didn't Whatever you go? Whatever my girlfriend said to her, I ain't know nothing about that. Why didn't that. you go? I didn't know nothing about this. I don't know where she at. You feel me? Oh, she so got you're saying your girlfriend and her are talking, but you ain't I, in this. That's what I'm saying. I don't be on the phone talking to them. Okay. I'm starting to get it. Get it. I am. What you get, Your Honor? Your girlfriend is not your advocate. She doesn't have to be that. She you should like already it. have Jakaya on your mind if this is a possibility that this child is yours. But I see what's happening here. Just like I told you before, both of you all, y'all can talk, 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 talk. And I, I mean, look. It's entertaining. The problem is, a baby's life ain't no show. Okay. It's a real life. And I'm looking at you, Miss Foster, and every time the picture goes up, I see you. I know you love your baby. With everything in my heart. And I know you've been through a lot, so I can see a lot of times when you're talking and you're fighting and you feisty, it comes from a place of having to protect yourself. My children. And your children. And I know you don't want this cycle repeated for your children. I'm a strong woman myself, mm -hmm. so I really don't need a man to do anything for me or my children. However, it's not fair to her to grow up with only one parent in the household and she has two. I didn't make her by myself. We made her together, so therefore, Step up. I don't care what you got going in your life because she'd ask to be here. We asked for her to be here and it's not fair. I grew up in foster care. He did too, so we both know exactly how it is. It's not fair to her and I'm, I'm not gonna keep accepting it at all. I mean, when this test come back saying he's the father, he's going to step up. So did you grow up without your father? Is I grew up without my mother and father. Okay. Both. So, I mean, I'm not too soft when it comes to stuff like this because I raised myself since I was 12 and I did a really good job at it and I'm doing a very good job at being a mother. Yeah. I need help. Yes. It's okay. Now that's it. That's the real Miss Foster. Mm -hmm. Tell the truth. I used to have a pride thing where I didn't like asking for help. It's just time. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And that was important for you to be honest about. Yes, Your Honor. And I just want, I'm looking at you and I can see in your eyes how strong you're trying to be and how strong you have to be to be a mother. So, Mr. Jackson, do you plan to step up if Jakiah is your biological child? Yes. And that's why we're here. Because we want better for these children. Right? Yes, yeah. sir. Okay. <laughs> Jerome, I'm ready for the results. Thank you. You're welcome. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics. And they read as follows. In the case of Foster versus Jackson, when it comes to Jakiah, it has been determined by this court 
Mr. Jackson, you are not the father. <laughs> What's funny? I heard that, it was kind of like, ooh. That's why I left. You took us to school, let me take you there. <laughs> you just performing now. I'm I, I, like, like I said, you want your baby to be a stage show? That's on you. Keep performing. But if you're gonna be a mother to a real human being and a beautiful little girl like that, Sometimes you just gotta say, like, you know what? Ain't no shame in my game no more. I did what I did what I did when I did it. I didn't and now I do need to think about who my child's father really is. I mean... And uh, look at me. Look at me when I'm talking to you, Miss Foster. That's okay to do. Nobody lives a perfect life, and you have been through a lot. And that's why I'm spending this much time with you. You need a woman in your life to say to you, you are worth it. There's not an experience you've been through. There is not an obstacle. There is not a feeling of an abandonment or less than or anything in this world that makes you any less worth it. Mm -hmm. Limitless possibilities for your life. You see me? I see you. You grew up in foster care, still, there are limitless possibilities for your life. You don't have your daddy, there are still limitless possibilities for your life. You got it wrong and you said Mr. Jackson is the father of your child, but he ain't. There's still limitless possibilities for your life. You don't know really who's the father of your child, there are still limitless possibilities for your life. You can't take them away. So walk in it. Live it. Own it. Be it. You see it? I see it. You see me? I see you. I see you.